Rich here. Um, you just heard me kind of messing around with a little bit of Van Halen's uh, Panama, but you heard me doing that on George Biseglia's sweet, sweet, sweet guitar here. This is called uh, the uh, DM, as you can see, uh, but this is really kind of like a Gibson Les Paul style guitar. Um, and uh, George, man, he's a, he's a killer luthier, and this, believe it or not, was um, the second guitar he ever built. And this one made it, uh, made it all the way into the hands of da uh, Dave Manichetti. Um, who really kind of rips this guitar to pieces <laughs> because this thing um, sounds like like a beast as you, as you probably heard um, and it covers a lot of lot of territory you've got really thick fat throaty sound and you can get really like intense dynamics out of it you know you, you hear me playing with just my thumb You can get really, really quiet, and then, of course, raging all the way to the full gain that you just heard. Um, but the thing that I like about this guitar is that it's got a really, really snappy feel. It's got that total Les Paul feel. And with that, you know, you kick a little gain on there. And you're like in, in, in some serious territory, but that's still just being played with um, the like kind of fleshy tone with my fingers. Um, And you can see, like, if you kick it on with some serious gain um, all the way up, you're going to get some shredding, shredding guitar sounds out of it. Um, it's got a couple of sweet um, Seymour Duncans, a, a JB, Jeff Beck, and a jazz pickup. Um, so I think uh, I'd like to say that that's kind of maybe um, the start of this, like, really, really kind of throaty sound. Because I've, I've played a lot of Les Pauls, and I have a lot of Les Pauls. Um, and to be honest, this one, this one's <laughs> kind of beats a lot of them, you know. Uh, it's got uh, it, it's got that mid-range sound, but it's also got a lot of low end. So you get that um, kind of like slashy sort of um, rhythm guitar, you know. And what I mean by that is like if you're if you kind of kick on the rhythm channel, maybe throw it in the middle pickup. Let's actually let's turn the gain down on this guy for a second here. So you get that kind of like almost like country twang.
and you can get uh, some kind of screaming leads with just just a little bit of gain, as you heard, you know. And then, of course, dial it back down. All the way to that sign. You know, you can get the kind of that like. Um, You get that even like that Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of snappy sound, um, and then of course, as I was uh, saying before, you get uh, full on, full on metal. If you put the gain back up a notch, I mean, there you're in like just ripping mode. Um, but uh, generally speaking, the guitar uh, that I play like on a regular basis is this style guitar. Um, I don't have this guitar. This is Dave's guitar. It's not my guitar. But if I could craft my own Biseglia model, it would be pretty similar to this thing because um, it's got that really um, thick mahogany body, that really fat, fat sound. Um, it's a bit heavier of a guitar, but I like that. I mean, that's kind of like the Les Paul style, you know? Um, and it's got this neck um, that I don't know if you guys know too much about Les Pauls, but like the Holy Grail of Les Pauls is considered a 59 Les Paul. And part of the reason is the neck shape. Um, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the 59 Les Pauls. I don't have, I only have 58s actually, because it's a slightly smaller neck profile. And um, this one mimics, I, I feel like mimics that 58 um, a lot more closely than even some of the reissue 58s that I've played because um, it still has that kind of like wide C almost a D feel but not quite kind of like a thinned out D and it's not a tapered neck it doesn't cause it doesn't thin out here so when you're playing um, up in this up in the high position you still get that kind of like thumb over the top slash Hendrix <laughs> you still get that real fat Les Paul feel way up top. So, I mean, all around, um, if you're looking for a Les Paul style guitar, I might consider checking this one out by George Bisseglia.